What we are preparing to explore is a line of reasoning comparing the human brain to a phi spiral and then comparing a phi spiral shaped timeline of universal events to both. The goal of such a model is to propose an alternative form of light cone one that is not straight up and down with a right angle between its base ellipse's centroid and its apex tip, but one that is curved instead, alike the form of a nautilus shell. The representation of multidimensional forms and patterns for constructs symbolic of time as the fourth dimension itself is not new. Consider the pattern of the pendulum as it traces out a circle of infinite pivoting arcs. Once we identify these patterns occurring in nature, we may next explore what causes them to do so. Just as by applying study to the theory of epicycles, the explanation of heliocentrism was ultimately deduced to account for the apparent retrograde motions of the nearby mobile heavenly bodies. For these reasons we, thus, decompose the perfect or ideal Fibonacci spiral from its similar, though imperfect and irreplicably unique counterparts that occur in nature, such as in any given example of the nautilus shell's general pattern of growth. The same way a nautilus-shaped shell pattern differs from an exact or perfect example of a Fibonacci spiral because it morphologically adapts to its changing environmental habitat over time as it grows and develops. So too does the neural complexity of the human brain grow and develop in each blastulating ovum as it matures in utero into an infant outward from a central origin point and relative only to the conditions of its parent womb. The development of the inner organelles of the overall brain organ occurs according to the same influence of environment and baseline guide being adherence to a phi expansion rate pattern as the Nautilus. The first cells to develop in the modern human brain eventually form the pineal and pituitary glands, and these form the basis of communication point between the brain and the body, motivated by its nervous system, but maintained by its endocrine system's glandular secretions in order to be able to do so. These inner organs of the brain also resemble the brain stems of mosquitoes and other types of insects that never evolved beyond this phase of neural development and who thus maintain a hive mind connected all together into one queen. The next phase of neural sub-organ development to occur in the human brain corresponds to the reptilian brain stems pattern and occurs in the hind brain structures of the human brain. Next is the mammalian brain, and this includes the majority of the remainder of the cerebrum being the midbrain structures in the modern human, responsible for our somatosensory system, our non automatically self-sustaining life support, and five sensory systems. The final constructs of the brain, including the thalami and frontal lobes of the bicameral cerebellum of the so-called forebrain, are the most complex and evolve last in cerebral developmental cycles. If we compare the nautilus shell, or phi spiral pattern, 
in which the organelles of the brain evolve in a fetus in utero, to a timeline depicting phases of universal development. The result appears as it does here. We shall be examining this diagram in extreme detail next, but for an introductory overview, let us see first how the phases of neural complexity and development over time can form to chambers in a nautilus shell that are determined by the right or 90 degree angles of one interior rectangle to the next iteration ascending outward from its origin point core. Thus, we can trace out nine basic levels of development of the cosmos along a timeline shaped like a phi spiral, depicting such as there are nine quadrants of rotation through which the phi spiral ultimately passes from its origin point expanding outward to its end. The point inside the brain corresponding to the origin point of the phi spiral is the pineal gland and the point inside the timeline of cosmic scale development corresponding to the origin point of the phi spiral is the Big Bang. The eighth and ninth iterations to follow from this, corresponding to the midbrain and forebrain sections of cerebral development and to the realms of universal evaporation as matter decays into energy, and to the subsequent nulliverse of pure ZPE energy that would logically follow such a conjecture, are hypothetical. As we begin to examine this diagram more closely, we quickly find the labels on it are oriented perpendicularly to our perspective at the arrangement's present angle. The first thing we must do is flip the diagram relative to the labels in order to be able to properly read them. To do this, we reorient its position relative to us by a 90 degree or right angle rotation counterclockwise. 